Zookeepers don't monkey around when it comes to providing exceptional care for our animals. One way we keep our animals active and engaged is through behavioral enrichment. Enrichment encourages natural behaviors through work and play. There are many types of enrichment, all with the goal of enhancing an animal's environment, stimulating them to investigate and interact with their surroundings. When working on enrichment items, we do a lot of research uh, here at the zoo. We find enrichment that has been used at other zoos and worked well, but before we implement anything, we have to build a lot of our enrichment. I used some bamboo that I cut here at the zoo and made a little puzzle feeder for the uh, squirrel monkeys. I smeared some peanut butter in a few of them, some jelly in a few of them, put some uh, super worms in them. Small primates are master manipulators. Having to dig into the bamboo is similar to them having to dig into the holes of trees to get the grub worms. And with the golden lion tamarins, I used coconut shell halves to put some of their food in instead of them being fed in a stationary bowl. Today they had to jump around and get on the coconut on the string and use their agility to hang on while reaching in for the food. With the spider monkeys, they are a larger and stronger species and today's enrichment was, had to be put together with nuts and bolts. The spider monkeys had to figure out how they were gonna get the food out of the puzzle feeders, and eventually they figured it out by spinning the bottles that the treats were gonna fall out. Gorilla, our spider monkey, he reacts differently than any other animal at the zoo when it comes to lime and celery. He takes the lime or the celery and he rubs it all over his chest, he slobbers all over, he jumps around, he really enjoys his lime and celery. By creating novel ways to present food, our zookeepers encourage our animals to work for their meal, just like in the wild.